During a break in the action, Brad Doty sat down earlier with top rookie of the year contender Shane Stewart. Our driver profile tonight is brought to you by GEICO. Shane, where do you call home and how did you get started in racing? I'm from Bixby, Oklahoma. It's a little town south of Tulsa. Um, I've been racing sprint cars now for, for 14 years. Uh, started racing quarter midgets when I was seven. And, you know, racing is in my family's blood. You know, it's not basketball, it's not baseball, it's not football, it's, it's auto racing. My dad uh, grew up around racing. My grandpa got him started in quarter midgets also. And he raced around Tulsa Speedway with, you know, the likes of, of Emma Hahn and Ray Crawford and Jackie Howerton. And, you know, to see pictures, you know, of those guys at Tulsa Speedway, my dad's raced with them, that's pretty cool. Okay, racing other series and all around the country, how long have you tried to get to the World of Outlaws level? I've been racing professionally for four or five years, and I've really never had the uh, opportunity to come out here and race full time with these guys. And, and now that I am, you know, it's a, a huge dream come true. You mentioned opportunity. This is a great opportunity with this team. How did it come together? I raced with Scott Chilcutt with the 4M team for a couple years, and Scott was financially not really a, you know, able to keep going. And in came Kevin Rudin. Uh, Kevin Rudin's raced um, a long time on the West Coast, mainly around Skagit. And he's always dreamed of having a World of Outlaw team. And we raced last year with him at the Dirt Cup, and we ended up winning that race for him. So it was, a, it was just one of them deals that was just meant to happen. And, you know, Kevin and Scott have, have you know, really made my dreams, you know, more fulfilled with, you know, being able to come out here and race full time with the World of Outlaws. Racing with the World of Outlaws 100 nights a year, it can kind of become routine. What do you do when you climb in that race car night after night to prepare yourself mentally? Uh, pray a lot. <laughs> you know, my safety, for one. Um, that's really about all I do. I, I'm not really superstitious. I don't, I'm not a lucky 13 guy or green or, you know, I pretty much took green out of my column when Steve started winning all the races, and I think he's the one that said it was the color of money. So, green's definitely not as superstitious to me, but um, I, I'm, you know, that's what I do. I, you know, just to keep me safe, help me try to make 30 good laps, and that's what I do when I get in the race car. I do that every race, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Shane, you've got one World of Outlaws win last year. I'm gonna put you on the spot here a little bit. What would be more important, to win the Kevin Gobrecht Rookie of the Year Award, or say win four World of Outlaws races? Man, you are putting me on the spot. I don't know. I, I probably had to say Rookie of the Year, just because you can only win it one time, and, you know, I, you know, keep our fingers crossed. Uh, hopefully the 26 gets in victory lane this year. You know, we, we did it once last year with the 4M. But uh, there's no doubt that this team is capable of winning races. But I would probably have to say winning the Rookie of the Year would mean a little bit more to me. Well, Shane, maybe you can win those four races and the Rookie of the Year award. That would be fantastic.